Hello, I just wanted to give everybody a little look into the Zoom Tips and Tricks Masterclass. So what it's going to include in the training will be to it, hold on one second, I'm just gonna forward this and my mouse is not working. Let's look at the agenda. So we're gonna do Google Drive app and anytime you see a line inside any of the, the slides that you're going to be getting for to take home, you just click it and those are also going to be full videos. So there's over one hour worth of training that you're gonna be able to take home after this as well as the live classes so I can answer your questions. So we're gonna go over Google Drive, how to save it in your classes and whiteboarding and how much fun it can be and also how to instantly save pictures that you may be doing with your students and how you can use in a whiteboard effectively. Then we're gonna go into virtual backgrounds. There are three ways to create customized virtual backgrounds or quick virtual backgrounds. You also have videos included with three links. We also are gonna be doing screen sharing and why should we screen share and how to screen share. Right now I am screen sharing in, uh, in the uh, Zoom application and I'm using it as a PowerPoint in the back. It's a lot of fun. Then we also have the annotation tools, all of the newest and latest annotation tools, including a vanishing pen, which is great. Video filters, studio effects, we'll quickly go over those and how to use them and make the class a little bit fun. Also, the most important part of any Zoom uh, meeting is the ability to be able to control it. These are your management tools. This is how you're going to be using these management tools to control classes, whether it be you and one other student or whether it be you in a group setting. There's also the um, wonderful ability to have a breakout room and those work really, really good with group classes and setting them off as they get to meet each other and you can pop in and out of those classes. There's also polling where you can get instant feedback from your kids by just asking them a couple of questions and there's a video to go into more detail and we're gonna be doing that in the live classes. We also have the remote control one of the best features of Zoom, and there is ways to get it back from the students, as well as you will also get the shortcut lists for the Mac and also for the Zoom uh, keyboards. And I look forward to seeing everybody on Friday. There will be two sessions, one at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and another one at 12 p.m. Standard Time. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you soon.